Hello, Garza Unicorns. Today's read aloud is called Wimperly Worried, written by Kevin Hankus. This is our front cover, our back cover, and our spine. This is our title page. And I'd like to give a special thanks to the publisher, Green Willow Books, for allowing me to share this story to you today. Let's begin. Wimperly worried about everything. Big things, little things, and things in between. I wanted to make sure you were still here. Hmm, what if I shrink, she thought. Wimperly worried in the morning, she worried at night, and she worried throughout the day. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. At home, Wimperly worried about the tree in the front yard. Hmm, what if it falls on her house? she thought, and the crack in the living room wall. What if it gets bigger and something comes out of it? And the noise the radiators made. What if there's a snake in sight? At the playground, Wimperly worried about the chains on the swings and the bolts on the slide and the bars on the jungle gym. Too rusty, too loose, too high. Hmm. And always she worried about her doll, Pedal. Shouldn't Pedal have a car seat too? I'll just wait for you, Pedal. Oh no, Pedal's lost forever. I found her, sweetie, said her mother. Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father, but Wimperly worried. She worried and worried and worried. When Wimperly was especially worried, she rubbed Petal's ears. Wimperly worried that if she didn't stop worrying, Petal would have no ears left at all. On her birthday, Wimperly worried that no one would come to her party. See, said her mother, there was nothing to worry about. But then Wimperly worried that there wouldn't be enough cake. On Halloween, Wimperly worried that there would be too many butterflies in the neighborhood parade. See, said her father, there was nothing to worry about. But then Wimperly worried because she was the only butterfly. You worry too much, said her mother. When you worry, I worry, said her father. Worry, 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 said her grandmother. Too much worry. Soon Wimperly had a worry. School. Wimperly worried about the start of school more than anything she had ever worried about before. By the time the first day arrived, Wimperly had a long list of worries. What if no one else has spots? What if no one else wears stripes? What if no one else brings a doll? What if the teacher is mean? What if the room smells bad? What if they make fun of my name? What if I can't find the bathroom? What if I hate the snack? What if I have to cry, she thought. Don't worry, said her mother. Don't worry, said her father. But Wimperly worried. She worried and worried and worried. She worried all the way there. While Wimperly's parents talked to the teacher, Miss Peachum, Wimperly looked around the room. Then Mrs. Peachum said, Wimperly, there's someone I think you should meet. Her name was Jewel. 
She was standing by herself. She was wearing stripes, and she was holding a doll. At first, Wimperly and Jewel just peeked at each other. This is Petal, said Wimperly. This is Niblet, said Jewel. Petal waved. Niblet waved back. Hi, said Petal. Hi, said Niblet. I rub her ears, said Wimperly. I rub her nose, said Jewel. Wow, they have seemed to find something in common. Throughout the morning, Wimperly and Jewel sat side by side and played together whenever they could. Petal and Niblet sat side by side too. Wimperly worried, but no more than usual, and sometimes even less. Before Wimperly knew it, it was time to go home. They seem to be enjoying themselves. Come back tomorrow, called Miss Peachum. As the students walked out the door, Wimperly turned and smiled and waved. I will, she said. Don't worry. And look how happy she goes home. The end.